cloudy with rain, heavy at times today, but the outlook is drier, sunnier and warmer. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Good morning to you. This says it all, really. There's cloud and rain in the forecast for today, particularly for England and Wales. The outlook further north is drier and brighter, but then the outlook for the next few days is sunnier and warmer. This is the grey, grim scene greeting, greeting much of England and Wales. First thing this morning, the rain is heavy through western areas, dry for Scotland and Northern Ireland other than the odd light shower, and dry for now across the southeast of England. Now as we head through the morning, the rain band that we have that actually has moved a little further north than we were thinking, affecting parts of Yorkshire and Lancashire, will start to ease and slip southwards. So drying out this afternoon for Northern England, then Wales and southwest England, the Midlands sticking with some showers into the afternoon, Afternoon. The wet weather arrives across the southeast of England. So temperatures pegged back from where they've been over the last few days. We're talking mid to high teens, so average or just a little above. Scotland and Northern Ireland, a story of sunny spells and scattered showers, some blustery winds to boot here. And as we head through this evening and overnight tonight, the rain clears through and tomorrow is drier, sunnier and warmer. Well, I would like to add some clarity with the world of weather, but actually it's pretty confusing what's going on at the moment because there is rain, there's sunshine, there's showers, things are warming up. There's a lot happening in the world of weather through the next few days. A messy weather chart with weather fronts bringing rain. There's some battling across the north as we head through the next few days, but into next week and the weekend, high pressure moves in. And this is much more simple. High pressure blocks weather fronts, it keeps it dry. Southerly winds means it's set to be warm. And that is the trend as we head through the weekend and into next week. Before we get there, we have rain to contend with. So cloudy and wet this morning for much of England and Wales. That rain heavy, particularly for Western areas of England and Wales. It will temporarily reach Northern areas of England, perhaps through Lancashire before slowly sinking south. So for Southeastern areas, you start off dry, grab an umbrella before you leave the house. You will need it later on. For Sky Brighton for Wales, southwest England, parts of England, northern England. Sunny spells and a few showers this afternoon. Frequent blustery showers in the north. And temperatures today down and where they've been over the last few are average at best. The outlook, though, is for that rain to clear. It turns dry and clear overnight to night. A fresher start than we've been used to tomorrow, six to eight degrees. But the outlook for tomorrow, sunny spells, a few showers and warming up and warmer still into the weekend. Good morning to you. Rain is the name of the game for England and Wales today. Brighter fortunes further north for Scotland and Northern Ireland. It's one of sunshine and showers there. But here's how it looks first thing this morning. Overcast, rain heaviest at the moment through Wales, just knocking on the door for southwest England. The southeast dry for now, but rain heading to you later on this afternoon. Scotland and Northern Ireland, sunny spells and scattered showers, and that's the way it stays throughout the day. So sunny one second, showers the next. Wind's fairly strong, so they should move through pretty quickly before the next one arrives. Northern England, Wales and the southwest after a wet morning, brightening up by this afternoon, but then that wet weather moves to the southeast. Temperature-wise, their average, maybe even below for some of us, cooler than it's been over recent days. But tonight, the rain clears, and tomorrow, drier and sunnier and warmer. Well, today it will be raining for many of us across England and Wales and actually even in Scotland and Northern Ireland, wet weather in the form of showers, but at least there'll be a little more sunshine around here. This is how it looks first thing this morning. A weather front moved in overnight, heavy rain for Wales and southwestern areas of England, but a reverse of fortunes as we head through the day. So the southeast of England is dry. Don't leave the house without an umbrella because it'll turn wet for you later. After a wet start for southwest England, Wales, northern England and the Midlands, the rain pulls away. So sunny spells and a few showers by this afternoon. Scotland and Northern Ireland, blustery winds, showers moving through, then sunny and then another shower. And 14 to 18 degrees, a little cooler than recent days. But the outlook, the rain clears away, dry overnight tonight and a warmer, sunnier day ahead tomorrow. Our own Laura. Uh, you can tell us about global temperature rising in, 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 with reference to what he just said. Yeah, exactly. And actually, a report came out from the Met Office yesterday to say that we can, within the next five years, have a 50-50 chance of getting to one and a half degrees of warming. And that's the value we want to stay below. When the report came out in 2015, the chance of that happening was zero. And then they looked at the future scenarios that we could have. So the Earth has been warming in the last 20 years especially. We have five future scenarios that we could live in. Anything over one and a half degrees is going to see everything being more extreme. We're already going to see sea level rise, melting glaciers, more flooding. But if we continue on this middle path we are at the moment, millions more people around the world having flooding in the UK, 1.5 million more people at the risk of coastal erosion. We're talking about India, 1.5 billion people in a heat wave. The temperatures they're having there, 50 degrees Celsius, normally happen just for a couple of weeks in the middle of summer. People have no water. They don't have energy to stay cool. It's devastated 50% of crops in some areas, which will affect food prices 
all around the world. And in the UK, we could, in the next 20 years, have 40 degrees Celsius. We've never reached that. And we will see similar things. We will run out of water, we will run out of energy, and it will affect our crops. So it will affect millions more people. OK. Thank um, you, Laura. Liam, you're from... Hello, good morning. Just gone six o'clock. Welcome to the programme.